Bienvenue à Comment gagner de l'argent et comment créer une entreprise et augmenter vos revenus avec Glendon Cameron. It's a wild and woolly place. So, you may get an email in the morning, tomorrow, I don't know, when it comes back up. And, the last book that came out was uh, How to Make Killer Money on YouTube. There's a webinar that's coming with that for everybody. They got the pre-sale. If you still want to buy, because the webinar is a week away, uh, link will be below. I'll get all that stuff set up. And, a new book's coming out. I often speak of how to create a life of int of a design and intent. And I started thinking about it. It's like, well, you've never really put down the process. You just keep using those words, and they really don't have me. And a lot of people are like, well, okay, what do you really mean, Glenn? And so, writing a book about it. I started it today. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but I am. And it will drop Friday. I know. There's a, there's there's a there's this plot I have in my mind, and I'll share it with you. My goal is to put out 12 books this year, and one of the reasons is um, I had a lot of issues with organization of the books, and in my mind, really, it's like, well, you're gonna do this, this, audio books, ebooks. So I've come up with a format, and one of the reasons that I'm doing the books is I have this goal sheet of all these book titles and concepts and I'm going to do what are you doing it's not going to work you are not going to be able to produce that kind of content doing what you're doing so I had to enhance my game so I've enhanced it a lot last week was uh, a, pr a really um, interesting experience because July 17th of this year will be my fifth year as a as a writer. And it's you know it's kind of like ooh. It's, it's kind of one of those moments. Ooh. And last week was an experiment with myself. Because the thing is, you shouldn't compete with other people. You should compete with yourself. So if you kick your own ass, you still win. And the book I wrote last weekend is better written, bigger than the first book that took me three months to write. Which means that the process has gotten better and there's still room for improvement but content is coming in the form of books all kinds of stuff is coming because of, like I said I've got the sheet and stuff and it just wants to come out and it wants to come out so I decided to buckle down and uh, produce I am the guy that committed that produced the video consumer versus consumer I mean nah. producer versus consumer I, I produced that video it's like, you know what? See what you can do. So I have a very high goal for the end of the year. And if I hit this goal, I'm going to hit it. I'm going to smash it. I'm going to smash it. Uh, there's this cruise. I don't know if you're biking cruise lines. There's this uh, cruise on the Rhine River. I hit my goal. I'm going. That's the plan. I uh, got the brochure, and I looked at it, and it's like, so that is the uh, reward for writing 12 books in a year. Now, this is, you know, like I said, I, I've got the titles, I have the concepts, many of these things I have thought about for years. So that helps. But with this new one that's coming out, and that's why when I crunk up the book club, I was like, hey, you should join. And a lot of people were like, ah, we don't like that. So what's going to happen is you need to join Hustlers University to take full advantage of the ebooks and audiobooks. What's going to happen is the ebook will come out first and then the audiobook. The audiobook will come out second. Because it's a process. Because if you never made an audiobook, it takes a lot of time. And once again, I've created a manufacturing process, so to speak, of how I can write the book, then immediately start on the next book. I know it's like, hey, you know, you just wrote a book, you should like go to Cancun and shit. No, I should not. I should continue to work on my craft, enhance my craft, because I can already see from today's effort. And the goal is, oh, wait a minute. I, I didn't give you the full skinny here. The goal is 
that on writing these books that I'm only going to work on the writing section three to four hours a day. That's it, tops. Three to four hours, that's it. No, none of this 10, 12, 16, no. You can break your brain like that, man. I mean, seriously, I think I did that last time. I really did. It, it was just too much. Uh, there's a there's a process. There's segmentation. Because, you know, I still have to run Hustle University, the 100K in 12, and the Hustler Mindset Mastermind. You can only get in there by invitation. So don't even, you know, because the thing is, I'm learning. I am learning by creating these groups, but... I've learned so much and I will continue to learn. But those two groups are open if you so desire. Links below. Now, let's talk about the new book, Crafting a Life of Design and Intent. And that's something that I've done. And it's going to really, really illuminate how I got to the current position because there's a few things that, you know, they're in the videos. It's in the videos, but if you don't watch every video and you pull out that little nugget here and that nugget there, then it, it becomes very easy to become lost. But this is the product of a plan. And the plan started a long time ago. I don't really play well with others. It's a problem for others, not for me, but others. And I realized that you're going to have to create your own environment and your own sandbox. Fortunately for me as a kid, I was a voracious reader, loved books because when you study stuff, pulp fiction became relevant and popular when during the Great Depression, which means that many writers were selling penny books, nickel books, and getting rich. I'm talking about some of these writers became millionaires. Why? Everyone had a penny, everyone had a nickel in widespread distribution. It created just a really rich and wonderful culture of pulp fiction. They used to cheat paper and stuff. And I think that we're coming to another era like that, but it won't be on paper, it'll be digital fiction because I still have 600 stories from the storage auction business because there's so much shit that went down and you know someone actually wrote me and it's like uh, I was watching the shows and I see why you stopped because you know people like think I am bullshitting but I know when I'm sitting there watching television going that's my story shit got a little bit irritating so I was like hey I'll hold them back until the shows lose a lot of luster because I think they're on their last legs now I don't know I don't watch them but the next storage auction book that's coming out. Yeah, it's on the it's on the development map, man. Is uh, if boxes could talk. Don't know when it's coming. I haven't decided when I'm gonna write it. But it's already sketched out. A uh, lot of stuff is coming this year. A lot of it. But for those of you who are gonna ask, like, hey, what's the best way? And you know, let, let's talk about um, the group Hustlers University. If you are a new hustler, beginning business person, that's where you wanna be. It is currently $9.99 per month. Wait a minute. If you join and you don't pay, I'm not going to hound you. However, everyone that pays will be on the secret ebook, audiobook list. And I figured out a way where, hey, you can be in a group and only the people who pay get the stuff. Gumroad! Love you. So that's what it is. I'm not going to kick people out. I'm not going to go, ah, you know, my pimp hand is strong. No, there won't be any of that want the group to grow i think everyone can contribute it's just for those who get in now and pay you get some perks you get some serious perks and if you've been a part of the g verse you know that i can get very generous very very generous so that's what's going on with that now with crafting the life of intent design it's going to be a manual step-by-step -step, formatted what should you do stage number one stage number two stage number three because I really didn't figure this shit out until about five years ago. Because I was like, oh, that's how that works. And I would, if you had asked me, hey, how did you? I, I couldn't have told you. And only because I've become a trainer and a teacher and an author that I have to communicate with people and really like communicate in a way that makes sense have it increased my own introspection and the questions that I ask myself. And I was like, oh, that's how you did that. Oh, that's how that works. Oh, it's... You know, it's, it's really, really a good thing. But uh, links below. You want to get in because it's going to be some hot stuff. 
It's going to be a ton of information, a ton of good content coming in the G-verse. And hopefully you will be part of it. Now, my other channel, there will be some stories there. Things are coming, uh, opinions and stuff. Just have to, once again, I'm pushing myself, pushing myself to be more productive. Uh, and also, not and to, be, to be more productive and to be highly efficient. I don't want to create that life I had when I was in the storage auction business and working 12, you know, 20 hour freaking days, working five, seven days a week. I don't want that no more. I am, I've, I've, I've brushed all that off, got it out my system, and no, I don't, I don't want to go back to that. What I want to do, and once again, this is the plan, is to get my process so tight, so tight, that I could produce a hundred thousand word book in a week if I if my shit was really tight, really really tight. I'm not there yet. I'm pushing for that, but to really get to that level, because like I said, I write a lot of stuff. I mean, the erotica, and I just decided I'm gonna go and clear off my gold board. All of these things that I have been, they've been on there for too long. It's time to start like drawing lines for those things and getting them done and getting them out there because it hit me that I'm a little weird, just a little bit, that I can really come up with a great deal of content because I've asked myself that today because I sat down and like today's supposed to be, a, oh yeah, the efficiency part, I'm supposed to do this Monday through Friday, no weekends, right? I know that is just so kind of crazy but that that's what i'm planning on because as i teach people in my courses you cannot go anywhere without a roadmap and i know that you know will i do it this year don't know will i do it next year don't know but i'm in process because as miss sally may jones used to say if you live long enough you're gonna get old time's gonna come and pass it's gonna come and pass i'm actively working on my future or not it's coming and it's going so that is the challenge. Uh, there will be. Oh, also, since my email client has been under attack, I don't know about the Q and A this week because I've got. There's a lot of people on that list, and if I start having them, and they're going like, "Hey, you know, I didn't get the list. I can't email people, so I may hold it off until next week." I am not certain. Um, is is kind of putting me in a in a, a bit of a pause mode. You know, there's a bit of a pause mode because that email would have went out the, yesterday and I can't do it because they're going to attack all weekend. So, we'll see. Uh, if I can do it, I may switch them up because it was supposed to be Monday and Wednesday. If I can do them uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday, I will. So, that's what's going to happen. That's, that's the mainstay. That's going to continue to happen. We're going to continue to have those conversations. We are going to continue to chat, have fun, but... If you want to learn how to craft a life of design and intent, and I should warn you, this will be some very over the top, you ain't never heard this kind of shit before. And it's my process. Will it work for you? Don't know yet, but we're gonna find out because I'm gonna put it out. But I will tell you that using the stuff that's gonna be in this book, uh, no, I'm not gonna say that because I, I, I'm not getting in trouble. I am not getting in trouble. And I would get in trouble if I said that. I would just say that when you get this stuff really down, that you will be able to influence other people. And when I say influence, it's not manipulation. Then it would be that if you would think of putting out a wish, let's call it a wish. But not a wish. But your wish isn't. It's very detailed. It's written down. And your wish just shows up in a matter of a few hours to a few weeks. We're going to talk about that. Because I think what happened was, as they said, going back to the farm, I think what ha happened was that reading the power of subconscious mind, taking in Earl Nightingale's Lead the Field, Tony Robbins, all that stuff kind of went in and mashed up in my brain and created my process because I took a little bit from here, a little bit from here, a little bit. I'm like, no, nah, I didn't like that. Oh, no, that squash. I don't like how that tastes. And it, it came up to something that when it's hitting, it's hitting. 
It's hitting. God, I wish I could tell you that story, but I got some stuff going on that I cannot have those kind of stories put out anymore. Can't do it. Uh, might do it in the group. Ooh. I can do it in the group. Not Hustle University. I'll do it in the private group because those are my peeps. I have loyalty there. Uh, yeah, I'll put that out. <laughs> but no, I'm not putting this out in public. It's too much. It is really, really too much. But that's what's going on. How to craft a life of design and intent will drop Friday. Yep. It will drop Friday. So we shall see. And with that, uh, I'll see you on the good side.